I can't believe you're about to get a tattoo yeah, of DJ yeah. Drop. I'm sorry. This man is going to get a, an amazing I'm gonna tattoo <laughs> of you. <laughs> permanent, <laughs> permanent permanent mark on me. On your arm. Yeah. The least you can do is comment. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Chelsea's latest series about the American blues fan, The Bridge. My name is Melody Cole. I'm an award-winning photographer who specializes in music, photojournalism, and sports. I'm also the owner of Charcoal Pitch FC, the first and only black-owned soccer-specific photo agency dedicated to telling black and multicultural stories. Today, we're in Los Angeles, but to be more specific, we're in the world-famous Venice Beach an area known for its all-around creativity, beaches, skating, music, boardwalk, and much more. On today's show, I'm gonna be kicking it with Venice resident, Quinn92. He's a big time musician, and he's a big time Chelsea fan. I'm gonna to talk to him about just how deep his love for Chelsea goes. Venice Beach, let's go. Quinn, 92, What's my up, guy. Man? Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you for inviting me to your wonderful abode. Uh, is this a town, city, area? It's a where, town? Where are we we're, exactly? Warm Venice, California. I've been here for like six years. Uh, absolutely love it. This place is, it's a melting pot. You have so many people from different walks of life and cultures and ethnicities. And for me, being a white kid from like a pretty like bubblish town in Michigan, this has like expanded my horizons so much and it's given me more like taste as a person, I guess, mm. you know, like my my palate has been more refined. <laughs> but I say I say that because I think Chelsea, you know, you have all these players from all different backgrounds and all these different right. countries. It's the same thing. It's a melting pot. And I feel like the teammates probably learn a lot from each other because they all come from different walks of life. How did moving to a place like Venice make you more open to loving a foreign team like Chelsea? and uh, just the sport of soccer in general. I was already in love with Chelsea since I was 11 years old probably. I don't know, there's something about, I think soccer is such a, it's the world game and so I think coming to LA, I just found a different perspective on it with mm -hmm. the people here and that there's diversity. That and, yeah, diversity like it's, it's is... amazing. So explain to me in the world why you want to get this tattoo. Matter of fact, who is the tattoo? <laughs> Who is the tattoo of DDA Drogba, Woo! aka the GOAT, Woo! aka my favorite player ever. The list of and he's honors. he's got that fire celebration yeah. that I always did when I was a younger kid. <laughs> they, I probably looked like an idiot when I was doing it, but yeah. <laughs> like, was really the first dude I looked up to in the sport as like a role model. I already have a bunch of tattoos on me, so I'm like, I'm already in that mode of getting some, and right. I was like, this is the next one I'm doing it for sure. Good to see you again, man. It's good to see you as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually getting this tattoo. Yeah. Why is he your favorite player? Something about Drogba, I don't know what, what it was, but he just got my attention. It's his like <laughs> swag like on the field, but he just really like captivated my attention and I was hooked and then I became a Chelsea fan. It was a pleasure to kick it with Quinn92. He shared with us a story about Chelsea, his gigantic love for Drogba, tattoos, and where he lives. You've been watching The Bridge, Make sure you tune into the next episode. I'm Melody Cole. Peace. Yeah.